Hi Capricorn and welcome to your horoscope for March 2020. Thank you for joining me. It's a pleasure to be with you today. You will notice on the 5th of March, there's a big thing going on with Mercury retrograde at the moment, okay? So from the 16th of February until the 9th of March, Mercury, the communication planet, is in retrograde. And when it's in retrograde, it appears to be going backwards. So on the 5th of March, Mercury retrogrades backwards into the sign of Aquarius. And that's in your second house of money and belongings. So be careful not to give away and to be overly generous. This Mercury retrograde in Aquarius is going to make you see things in the sense of I am not important, other people are important, so I'm just going to give all my stuff away. Be careful with that. On the 9th of March, Mercury goes direct. So from the 9th of March, it's really safer. It's still in Aquarius and it will stay in Aquarius for the rest of the month. But from the 9th, it's much safer to think about how you can money make money, how you can um, change your job, how you can um, work in a way that's more aligned with who you are. But I would recommend that you do all of that from the 9th of March onwards and that you avoid it before the 9th of March. Because when it's in Pisces, you're overly emotional. And then in Aquarius, you're overly self-deprecating. Yeah. Okay, so that's Mercury. On the 16th of March, it moves forward again into Pisces. So it goes Pisces, Aquarius, and then forwards again into Pisces. And it stays in Pisces for the rest of the month. So it's In your third house of communication, along with the Neptune, the Midheaven, and the Sun. So what is it that you want to do work-wise? So this is the month for Capricorns who don't know themselves, or who don't know what to do for work, or who don't know how to express their love for other people. You're going to have a breakthrough from the 16th until the end of the month because you just get an insight into your feelings and it's a correct insight and a correct perspective instead of the Mercury retrograde perspective that we had. Okay, so also on the 5th of March, Venus, the planet of love and beauty and creativity, that goes into Taurus in your fifth house of love, romance and relationships. So Venus rules Taurus. It's able to express its love physically, creatively, through music, through making a wonderful meal. Remember that Mercury retrograde is in place until the 9th of March. So express your love for other people from the 9th onwards. That's much better working with this Mercury retrograde. Otherwise, you may misconstrue things or you may get the wrong end of the stick in terms of your feelings. On the 9th of March, we have a full moon in Virgo, and I'm going to make a separate video on this. But a full moon in Virgo gives you the ability to really absorb information. And it happens in your ninth house, for you guys, Capricorn, of the higher realms of spirituality and spiritual awakening. So you have access to all of this information that you're showered with, and you can't be overwhelmed. You really make sense of things about yourself and it's like the fog lifts and you become ultra clear this is who I am and this is what I'm meant to do it's almost like a Saturn return here a mini Saturn return here for you guys in March that energy of downloading and making sense of the higher realms is in place until the 20th of March and on the 20th, Jupiter conjuncts Mars in your first house of self, in your sign of Capricorn, and Pluto and Saturn are also sitting there. Mars is about let's go and do it. Let's work. Jupiter 
says, let's have fun. Let's um, enjoy ourselves. And with the desire to work and Jupiter saying, work is fun. I want to build this thing. You can really put in the legwork that results or that follows your spiritual insights that you've had in the first 20 days of the month. So it's really quite simple for you guys, Capricorn, here in March. Up until the 20th, dream and analyze, but from the 9th, ideally. And then from the 20th, implement those things that you are doing for work and that you want to have fun with. On the 24th, we have a new moon in Aries that's happening in your fourth house of family, but the transiting Midheaven and Chiron are in Aries. Make a separate video on the, the new moon in Aries, but for you guys, it's important to know that it happens in your home life. So if you are frustrated in your work or what you're trying to do, there's the possibility for conflict with your family. So let's say you borrow 100,000 from your parents to build um, a couple of condos or something and then you rent them out, I don't know, or you borrow a million to build some condos and um, you totally screw it up. The condos kind of um, break apart. No one wants them. It's, and the family then will say, yes, you tried, but still we're out of our money. It's uncomfortable. So try and do things on your own and do things that feel right to you. Don't depend on anyone else this month. It could cause friction later on. Finally, on the 31st of March, <laughs> it's because Mars in March, March, Mars, March, March. Mars moves into Aquarius on the 31st. So Mars is about power and now it's saying, let's make money by being of service to people. And Saturn sits there and say, let's not make too many changes and let's keep things as they are. So you're somewhat conflicted going into April about your finances, but with Mars and Saturn, the only way is forward. So you're going to really do well in April financially. That's why the Bing Eureka moment is so important this month, because it's going to lead you into the practical thing that you actually want to be doing. So congrats, have a lovely month. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. If you like this video, then please hit the subscribe button and share it online. I can answer any of your personal questions in a private reading. So please do get in touch if you have any questions about moving or relationship or life purpose or um, vocational aptitudes, anything at all, get in touch with me. Have a great March and I'll speak to you soon.